Today, our verse is Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. Here, there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarians, Scythians, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Paul wrote this letter to the Colossians while still in prison to a community he was yet to meet. Epaphras, the leader of the church community, had informed Paul about the different problems and cultural issues that was hindering the people from fully dedicating themselves to follow Christ. Paul wrote this letter to address these issues. Our verse today concludes the session focused on the need to renounce vices and what the new life in Christ truly signifies for Christians. He enjoins them to shun the things that make them earthly, including, but not limited to, acts of immorality, idolatry, malice, anger, lying. The Christian life implies that they have to take off their old selves and practices to put on the new self, which is founded in the knowledge of God. Most importantly, Paul emphasized the nature of Christian unity resulting from the new life in Christ. The emphasis on differences must be overcome. Hence, Paul categorically stated that there is not Greek and Jew here, no difference between circumcised or uncircumcised, nor between slave or free, but Christ is all and in all. The different sources of divisions, such as race, ethnicity, polities, economic, moral, and class divides that seem to creep into the church only serves to divide the body of Christ. And that belongs to the old self, not the new. Let us pray that God may help us to overcome selfish dividing interest that goes against Christian principles of love, unity, and oneness. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of Christ and his church, the source of unity and the earthly foundation of your heavenly kingdom. Help us to remain faithful to see others as brothers and sisters in the ministry of Christ to his people and the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a lovely day.